is the executive director of the Southern Africa Resource Watch, Claude Kabemba says Ghana cannot achieve its local content quota in the oil and gas sector due to lack of seriousness on the part of government to implement the law. He was speaking on the sidelines of the ongoing alternative mining in Daba Summit in Cape Town, South Africa, where my colleague Alfredo Kansi brings us more. A careful study of Ghana's petroleum sector shows the country may miss its local content target with a deadline set for 2020. In 2010, the Minister of Energy formulated a policy framework that set the goal of achieving at least 90% local content in all oil and gas activities by 2020. This objective, however, looks elusive. The mining industry also comprises a number of players, including mine support service providers, which provide services such as drilling and blasting services, as well as the supply of mining equipment and spare parts. Many of such companies that operate in Ghana are foreign-owned. Speaking on the sidelines of the ongoing alternative mining in Daba Conference in Cape Town, South Africa, Executive Director of the Southern Africa Resource Watch, Claude Kabemba, said government of Ghana must scale up the demand for local content. Beyond just uh, extracting uh, the resources, mining companies, the biggest spending for mining companies is on uh, provision of goods and services. And that were because as Africans we don't own this mine, but there is a part where we can monopolize and start to maximize benefits from the extraction of these minerals. And one of that area is the procurement. He added, Ghana must go beyond putting in place laws to ensure foreign companies give jobs to local companies to provide services. Most of our government has put in place procurement policies, local content policies. And Ghana is one of the leading countries on the continent in terms of uh, putting in place local content provision, both in mining and oil and gas. Now, what we've seen is that uh, companies are reluctant to give opportunities to local people to provide for services and goods. Oil companies are currently required to have at least 10% of their goods and services provided by Ghanaian companies. But capacity gaps are limiting local companies from accessing more businesses from the foreign oil companies. Alfred Okansi, TV3, Cape Town, South Africa.